And welcome to Italy, welcome to Parma, the venue city for this match. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box, and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. It's Parma up against Inter. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Always my favourite time of the week, spending time with you at games. We should be in for a belter here with these two. Luigi Seppe. Look at the starting lineup for Parma. And I think, Lee, the usual formula is to be expected defending and then counter attacking swiftly. Yeah, absolutely. They've got this system down to a T. And what you need, you need pace. You need pace over the top and you need good passes in midfield. Suck the opposition into you and then hit them on the break. And a look at the Inter team. Samir Handanovic begins between the posts. Stefan de Frey plays with Milan Skriniar in central defence. Christian Eriksen plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And as for the attacking tandem, Alexis Sanchez plays alongside Romelu Lukaku. Brugman. Kutska, Yasmin Kurtic, Juraj Kutska, Karamo, Kutska, good looking sequence, and the cross is very much on, Jordan Osorio, Accurate pass upon accurate pass. kick delivery so very close well he'll think it's in from that angle it's just wide Ericsson Perisic with the ball Romelu Lukaku, a player who opposing defenders have got to keep tabs on. Lee, you'd expect that he'll have something to say for himself. Well, I look forward to winning balls. He shouldn't because of that strength that he's got. He's also got a strong mind as well. With a strong body, strong mind, you've got a heck of a player. And Inter might be able to cash in here. Alexis Sanchez. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Kutska. Yasmin Kurtic. Karamo. Kutska. And he read it well. Well. 
Alexis Sanchez. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Hernani. Yasmin Kurtic. Man. Have they given him too much space? Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Top class defending. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Yasmin Kurtic. Karamo. In position here to protect the ball. Moving into the advanced position. Careless in possession. Could be a chance to break here. Hakimi. He might be able to carve something out. Well, he did his job defensively. Well, that could be his final rebuke, I think. And the referee's making that absolutely clear. Well, I like that, Derek. Good refereeing. Nice and strong. Told the player exactly what he was thinking. And he's fired over the corner. And he's gone into an illegal position, unfortunately. Yurai Kutska. So tight this game. Who's going to break the deadlock? Be brave, be a hero. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And the offence sufficiently sinister to warrant a yellow card. Yes, agree with that one, Derek. He's got to be careful now. Well, certainly he looks surprised that's a yellow. Gaston Brugman. Rob them. Barella. Romelu Lukaku now. Ericsson. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Barella, he's got the right idea with that pass. Opportunity squandered by Inter. Well, the stalemate should have been broken, but he's missed his chance. Will he get another one? Hakimi. This attack looks highly promising. Oh, a fine block. Hakimi. Lukaku. Can he put them in front? Oh, no, he's missed the opportunity. And they remain level. Well, he found himself in a great position, but he couldn't find the finish. Well, that was the chance to take the lead, and the manager's frustration is there for all to see. 
So two minutes to be added on at the end. Brugman. Manera Zuri regaining possession. Inter exploiting the space on the flank. Opportunity to deliver the cross. A oh, tremendous block. Needs to tread carefully. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. That's been a difficult outing for Romelu Lukaku, Lee. Well, as we can see with the movement he showed today, I think I could mark him and I'm 55. Too much waving of arms and blaming of others. His team needs a winner and he's their main man. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. A potential danger here. Lukaku might fancy it, you know. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Well worth, I think, at this stage, going back to the chance from earlier. Hernani and take it away wonderfully weighted pass real chance making sure nothing untoward happened superb tackle substitution time it is here Con il numero 14, Ivan Perisic. In campo, con il numero 15, Ashley Young. He's driven in the corner. Excellent block. Well, he'll be thanking his lucky stars that the referee settled for a verbal warning rather than a booking. Well, as we see, this is probably the best angle. He's picked his spot, he didn't change his mind, and the keeper's got no chance. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, he's delighted, isn't he? We can see that. Calm is needed now just to consolidate this lead. Cool heads. Underway once again with Inter in front. Con il numero 9, Romelu Lukaku. Hakimi. And they need to get tighter. Barella. Brozovic. Just couldn't get it through. Brugman, Yasmin Kurtic, Mann, and we're inside the final 30 minutes, Hernani, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Well, tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Well, following that tackle, he's got to go into the book. Yeah, he's missed time more than anything there. Just missed time, his tackle.
Substitution time it is. Lascia il campo con il numero 24 Christian Eriksen. In campo con il numero 22 Arturo Vidal. Thumps clear. Il signor Davide Farronato è pregato di mettersi in contatto con la moglie con Young. la massima urgenza. Grazie. And Valenti now. And now back with the keeper. Gagliolo. It is to be a throw in. And successfully cut out. Alexis Sanchez. An incisive pass. Young. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post. And snuffing out the danger. But a corner coming up. So making the substitution now. Entra in campo con il numero 36, Matteo Darmian. And firing it into the area. And fisted away. The referee had to be mindful of what was going on, the injury situation, and hence he has stopped play. And a drop ball on the back of the stoppage. Gaston Brugman. And now with Inglese. Brugman. Caramo. Brugman has it. Oh, showing excellent vision. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Vidal. Breaking at pace. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Showing plenty of defensive acumen. And conceding the throw in. Could cross it in here. It did take a touch on the way through, hence a corner. And now the delivery. Well, they haven't been at their best today, that's for sure. But this game is far from over. And the fans are certainly reminding them of that. You've got to think there'll be one more chance or two. Five minutes remaining. And one thing is certain, no one is leaving because it's still close. A bit sloppy in possession. Brugman. Juraj Kutska. And now with Inglese. Well, still time for them to level it. Gaston Brugman. And an astute piece of defending. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. Gaston Brugman. And 
authoritative challenge. No more action in this game anyway. And the fans are saying their bit. They're not very happy about that decision. Well, no, the referee can hear all that. We can hear it all. The players are still having words with him as he go off the pitch, but nothing they can do about it now. They just get into the dressing room and hear what the coach has got to say, but they'll all be very disappointed. But I think it was a penalty.